What's up, brilliant ACCA students? In this video, I'm going to help you pass your upcoming financial management exam. We're going to talk about convertible bonds, and I'll show you how to quickly calculate the market value of a convertible bond. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments, and please throw down a like if you find this video useful. All right, let's get started. I've got an FM Section A objective test question on my screen. First thing we always do, read the requirement. Let's understand what we need to do. What is the task? We don't go digging around in here before we know what we are looking for and we discover what we're looking for by reading the task. Pause the video, guys, to get the most out of this video. Pause it here. See if you can do this on your own. After you've given it a try, continue viewing. Welcome back. We see we're dealing with known loan notes. And they want from us the current market value. There are essentially two things they can ask for with loan notes in this context. They can ask you for the market value, which is what they're doing in this case, or they could ask us for the cost of debt, the required return of the bondholder. So very important to know what we're up against. When it's the market value, we will use the tool NPV. When they're looking for cost of debt, then we're looking for a, an IRR because the market value will be expressed in absolute terms as a dollar value, IRR as percentage terms, right? Cost of debt, a required return, that's a percentage. Market value, that's a dollar. Now that we know we're going for the market value and that we need the NPV, we can make a quick shopping list in scratch paper. We need some interest payments, which will be the annual cash flows. That's the first thing we need. We need the number of years, the time to maturity. And then we need a redemption value. What's that payment at the end of the number of years. And last but not least, we need some discount rate. So this is what we need. Let's now dig around in the question and see what is there. Luke has 8% convertible loan notes. Let's get to the convertible bit in a moment. 8%, okay, that would be the coupon rate, the interest payment. So you're going to get 8% and these bonds mature in five years time. So that's the number of years, five years, and the nominal value is $100 per loan note. Okay, so these loan notes were sold in $100 blocks. And if you own one block, $100 worth of loan note, you will get $8 interest payment every year. Now, here is the tricky business. We can redeem them in five years time. We can go back to the company turn in our bonds, and they will give us back the $100 that we paid, essentially the principal of the loan. Or we could convert these loan notes into 70 shares. That is the convertible bond tricky business. Now, <clears throat> we have a nominal value 
of the shares, but that's not really going to help me right now. We also have more information here about market value. That's going to help me, and I'm going to come to that in a moment. But we have to sort out this business about the discount rate for our NPV. We got before tax and we got after tax. We use the after tax when we are looking at this from the company perspective, the issuer of the bond. And it's the company, the, the, the issuer of the bond that gets the tax savings on the interest payments. They make the interest payment, but it reduces their profit tax. So the company will use the post tax. The investor, on the other hand, the investor is going to get the full $8 off the 100. So for the investor, the holder of the bond, we're going to use the before tax. So for our NPV, we'll be using that before tax cost of debt. Let's talk about exam technique now. I highly recommend when you get a question on NPV or IRR, you borrow a spreadsheet from section C of the exam. I recommend that you take down this information that we found in the scratch pad or on scratch paper directly if you're in an exam center. And we can make quick work of it when we're in a spreadsheet. So we found out now that we have five years. One, two, three, four, five. Every year, we, as a bondholder, we're going to get $8 interest on a $100 loan note. So we can put eight as a positive number. We know the discount rate that we're going to use is 10%. The only thing we have to figure out now is what happens at the end. Will they redeem or will they convert? And we'll assume that they are rational, risk-averse investors. So option A is get $100. Option B is to get 70 shares. And we see that the share price is growing, guys. We expect the shares to grow 4%. So all we have to do now is compound that $1.25 up by 4% for five years. So I can come down here and do a quick working. Let me put it over here. So we're going to take 1.25, we're going to multiply it by 1.04, and I'm going to put that to the power of 5 with that caret symbol, 5. And that will be the market price at the end of 5 years. But we get 70 shares, not one share. So I can grab all of that, or I can just come down here just as easy. I can do this, multiply that five-year share price multiplied by 7070, and we get 106. So at the end of five years, they can either get $106 worth of shares or $100 cash in their pocket. Well, I think they would take the 106 because even if they wanted cash, they would just buy the shares and flip them. So we've now discovered with the convertible bond, it's likely that the bondholders would convert. So I'm simply going to take my $8, that's equal to the final interest payment, and all I have to add to that is the market value of those 70 years in five years time. So there we go. And Remember, I am just using this spreadsheet to do the math. I'm not presenting the answer to the examining team like this, so I can really keep it quick and dirty like I'm doing. There's no need to format it, make it look pretty. Okay, but what the heck, I'm going to do that here for our demo.
because you guys are watching, so I can do that. Okay, now, so those are my years. This is my cash flow only going to year five. We could make that gray. I'm just showing you that we don't need it in the NPV. Of course, I would not do this in the real exam. Now, here is my favorite thing. I'm going to do this equals. We want to find the net present value. We type the equal sign. We open NPV. Well, you can see that I'm in Excel, but it works exactly like this in your practice platform. We're just going to put 0 0.10, comma, grab this range of cells, close that out, and we are good to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, answer is B. And we made quick work of this question, borrowing a spreadsheet from Section C. Of course, when you're all done, you can just delete that because you're going to need to do your real question when you get to the Section C. Guys, there you have it. ACCA Financial Management Team, that's a wrap on convertible bonds. I hope you found this video useful. Here's a playlist. You can get more videos just like this. Good luck on your upcoming exam.